All right, we're back with the Aston Villa career mode. So we're entering this episode in uh, in some pretty, pretty good form. In the last game, we beat Man City 2-1 away from home, and they are the champions elect this season. Also up 2-0 on PSV in the Europa League quarterfinals. So Europa League quarters, and we're sitting in third place, although it's still pretty close between the three to eight spot or nine spot too. But we find ourselves in third place with what, seven games left, which is, it was just pretty crazy. It still feels like top four is, it's so far-fetched. Like for us to be in the champions League in season three would be insane. Not at all what I expected. And we still got some tough games coming up. We got four games this month all games which uh these have been actually the tricky ones i feel like and then we also have uh, arsenal wolves and leicester to end the season it's gonna be a very interesting end to this second season with villa so drop a like if you are enjoying the series and want to keep seeing it daily and also sub to the channel down below if you are not all right first comment focus on isak and dolberg if you finish season at third or fourth place you have a lot of money to spend next season i'm not sure if suarez is actually retiring or not i don't think he is but in terms of isak and dolberg i think uh dolberg is the more realistic option here because isak is incredibly expensive plus i think we're all associated with probably making it to the champions league they have a better chance than us where i don't think isak would downgrade from a champions league team to a europa league team if that's where we finish. I feel like Dolberg is a bit more realistic and also much more uh, reasonable in terms of price. And yeah, Suarez is not retiring, although I think next season the plan is to try and sell him. He's going to be almost 37. I feel like uh, he was always like a half season rental, I think. We'll see, but that is the plan to let him go next season and then sign a new younger striker and the next one change bailey's instructions he has been less lethal since the switch in formation i was thinking about this you know what i actually think it is i think it's uh you can see where bailey is right now on the with the cam with the striker formation if we go back to the false nine bailey and way are both way more forward so i think we're just gonna move bailey and way forward in this this cam formation i feel like that might be the that might be the issue i feel like bailey and Weyer are too deep so moving them up might help them get back to the scoring how they were before and also bailey being more deadly and the last one is play diallo as potential is 86 to 88 yeah so diallo is going to 76 and we have a 6.7 buy clause for him. It's currently buying it at 14 million. So not only is he a good player, I think that's a good investment. We'd pay half of what his value is. So I think all signs look to us actually triggering that buy clause, but we'll see though. And while we're here, let's check out our two low knees and see how they're doing being Ricky Pooj. He's up to an 81. He's plus four. Was he like a 79? We loaned him out. That's uh, that's not bad from Ricky Pooj, the growth. So next season, he might come back with an 82 at least, which if he comes back in a, as an 82, He's going to challenge for a spot on this team for sure. I feel like next season we have too, too many midfielders. I feel like the one that's probably on the way out is McGinn. I think I'd rather keep Loftus-Cheek, Ward-Prowse, Ricky Pooj, and Ramsey, I think. And the other one is Chukwameka, who's up to a 71 plus 3 which is uh, not bad. He's still a big part of the series for sure, 100%. And also now you can see you can see where our way and Bailey are at. So in the cam formation, we push them up. I think that'll help us. Because I think I've been noticing in, in game that Bailey and Way are too deep. I need them to be more forward. So that should help them out. So first game is PSV, second leg. We're up 2-0. I kind of feel like we might be good enough to sim this because we're up 2-0. I mean, first team, they're fully fit. So 2-0 up against psv i don't see us losing this and we win 3-2 okay suarez Wea, and suarez scores two and we are through to the europa league semi-finals i gotta say this team is very good in knockout competitions fa cup and care cup last season and now semi-finals europa league where we could have bracing merchant gladback leverkusen or nice honestly like these teams are all near our level i think we got we got a shot here where we could win the europa league and qualify for the champions league that way just absolute insanity all right second scouting info from sweden these guys just just don't look that good. This guy looks okay, but 190,000 does not look that good in terms of value. So no luck scouting in England or Sweden this time around. So now we got Fulham. Now the semis should be set and we have Borussia and and Gladbach. Okay. I kind of thought they were probably one of the better teams in this competition still. So we got to play them. And then we either have Nice or Leverkusen if we can beat them. That's going to be tough though. I feel like they do have a very decent team. So we're definitely going to play that first. So we got four games before that though. I think we got to play. I think we got to play both legs. At least one in this episode. So we're going to sim Fulham to start because it's at home. I feel like we should get a win here. All right. We do have some players that are tired, but... I don't think I can sacrifice. Uh, I think I do it. What prowess in for Ramsey? Let's do. Let's do James Justin for Dinier. This has got to be three points here. It's got to be three points against Fulham. It's got to be. It's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one drop. Why do we drop points against the the low teams? Okay, that's not what I expected in that game. At home versus Fulham, I would expect so much better. So that sees us in fourth place. Still though, we got we got a game in hand here. So if we win this next game, we'd go into third on 59 points. But if we lose this or draw it, I mean, Man United and Wolves would be right on our back. And it's Leeds. 
uh, I think Leeds might be the one we play out of this, uh, these three. We'll see. I'm gonna, we're going to play Leeds at least and take it from there. One game at a time. The problem is, is I used these players in the last game because I thought that would be very winnable. Now they're tired for this game. So we got to rotate. Okay, Mings is absolutely rinsed. We're going to do Chambers and uh, Chambers and Konza. Let's do Hoover because he plays very well when I use him. Uh, Bailey's good enough. Suarez. I want to start Suarez still. I think we got to use Suarez, but White House is in. And then let's do, let's do Loftus cheek at Cam. He's better at Cam than Ward Prowse, right? Yeah, I think. No, actually, he's not. All right, let's do uh, Ward Prowse at Cam. Let's do that. And then Diallo up for Wea because he's not playing. And this is what we go with against uh, Leeds. Their team to play is very attacking and they got some decent players. So this could be a bit tricky. I can't believe we drew against Fulham. How do we draw that game? How do we draw a game like that? At home, too. I don't get it. This means that this game has more importance on it. So Suarez, we're all going to be have to take him off eventually in this game. But we he gets the start and we see what we can do against Leeds United. They're in 14th. So I can't believe we're actually fighting for top four still. I can't believe that. Suarez. Oh, we look good. He scored like that before and it looked decent, but not this time. White House, get it to Suarez. Suarez, once again, I should have probably uh, passed it to James Ward Prowse there. Okay, they might score here. Oh, that was a bad finish by, who is that? Who is that? Is that a uh, bogus? I don't even know who that is. That finish was bogus though. Corner, sent in, and Hoover. Hoover is so good. If we sell Matty Cash, Hoover is the starting right back. I don't care. He is actually just, he's so good. And Bamford scores the first goal of the game. As I'm complimenting my defense, we we concede. Not the greatest look. It's just Kanza and Chambers. It kind of fell asleep there. Just no one was marking Bamford. Okay, it's not a good start to this game. Not at all. How much are we going to miss Coutinho? I wonder. Suarez to Bailey. Could tie it up immediately. That's a good shot. But their keeper makes the save. They're playing, uh, is that Casillas in goal? It's not even their best keeper. So that should be in our favor. White House to James Ward Prowse. And we just hit the crossbar. Gonna head that back into the mix. Konza, okay. Konza does not have the shot. Man, oh, that's what kind of touches that. Okay, that's fine. White House in to Suarez. Suarez just got absolutely destroyed there. That would have been a perfect time to tie this game up, but we hit the crossbar. White House to James Ward Prowse. Suarez, you might be in. Suarez is in. Suarez is in. And okay. Casilla has made two amazing saves now. The keeper that I thought would give us a better chance to score in this game. And Bailey can't get that to Suarez. Hey, Rafinha's player we gotta be uh, we gotta be scared of. He's made a good move there. And that's a terrible ball though. We created some decent chances. We just need to tie this game up. The longer we let this game be in the lead for them, the longer the chances that we lose or drop points. Bailey, a good spot. We find Suarez. Bailey, all the way Bailey. That's gonna be another save by Casillas. Ward Prowse, Bailey, where are you at? You could have won that. It's gonna go right back to Leeds. We're playing like so decent. Just this goal needs to this the goal needs to come right now. White House. White House through to Leon Bailey. That's gonna be over hit though. Goes right back to White House. Into Bailey. Okay, I wanted that to go to Suarez. Not all the way back to Douglas Louise. Okay, Rafinha. That's gonna be Oh, that could have been a penalty. We got the ball, but we also got Rafinha there. That is a corner. Should be the end of the first half. Martinez catches it, and that is the end of the first half. Game needs to be tied up with the swiftness right now. How are we not tie this up? We've had like three, possibly four really, really good chances. All right, corner four leads and Suarez, the absolute psychopath is gonna clear that. Bailey, oh, we could have got that toward Prowse and then Bailey could have just been on his bicycle. Bamford gets it to Rafinha. It's gonna go and that probably should have been 2-0. Uh, Tyler Roberts puts it wide. This game it feels very dangerous right now in terms of dropping points. Feels very, very dangerous. White House. White House. White House. White House. Okay, Dinier. Dinier is in a good spot. Dinier. Can we find Suarez? Dinier. Dinier. Oh, that's way too... I think I put too much power on that. I think I might have. I'm not going to blame Dinier this time. Yeah, I think I think we need some changes right now. Team is feeling very flat. Ward Prowse to Bailey. Suarez. Bailey. Going to run Bailey. Bailey. That actually gets through to him. And he might have the pace to go all the way himself. You will. Oh, I was going to go to James Ward Prowse, but Bailey takes it himself. Okay, 1 1, 63rd minute. Great time to score. We got 25 minutes to try and take this game now. I was going to pass it to James Ward Prowse until like a half a second before we shot. Because it looked decent, but Bailey, good finishing. Yeah, Suarez is absolutely rinsed. So we're going to do Diallo. And I'm going to put White House up top. I know it sounds a bit funky, but at center forward, and I'm going to make him a false nine. I feel like that might help. We're going to drop James Ward Prowse to be a center mid. Let's do Timber for Douglas Louise. And uh, we will leave it at that for now, I think. A big 20 minutes for Diallo. 
We got that by clause. We might do it in this episode. But, oh, that's going to be a foul. Okay, I wish you would have just went down. Okay, we cannot let them tie this up right after we just uh, tie the game up. All right, that, that works, Martinez. It's very it's very violent, but it works. I mean, Diallo was a part of our winner against, uh, against Man City. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go back to James or Prowse. You literally saw Bailey turn there. What actually is that? Why does the scoreboard get glitched so often? This happens to me like every single episode. Oh, my. That could have been very bad. Tyler Roberts once again messes up a chance. 15 minutes. Hoover got some space. Hoover. Okay, Bailey. Bailey. Get on a run, Bailey. 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 Go on a run. Okay. We will make him go on a run. James Ward Prowse. To Timber. No, that was supposed to be to Bailey. Why would it go to White House? Okay, the ball is going to the wrong player right now. Hoover. It's going to be... I don't even know what that cross was. Man, Bailey was going to be in for a one-on-one -on -one there. Did not go to the right player. That's going to go to Ramsey. James Ward Prowse. In to Diallo. He's offside. I actually did not mean for the ball to go to Diallo. I meant to go to White House. That's like three or four times. In the last 10 minutes, the ball has gone to the wrong player. I wanted that to go to White House, but I mean, Yellow scored. He was just offside. All right. Coutinho up top at uh, false nine again. We just got to do something. The only change I can think of to try and change this game in the last, what, eight minutes? Otherwise, it will be back to back draws for Aston Villa. That's a great header. And get it to Coutinho. 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 Get it to Bailey. Beautiful. Bailey. No, why would that not go to Diallo? And it goes out. Why would that not go to Diallo? You gotta be joking with me. You like, you gotta be joking. Maybe I put too much power on it. That's why he just fizzed it. But I wanted it to be powerful. I just wanted it to be right there at the white line for Diallo. It was a tap in. And then to, add, to make it even worse, the ball goes out for Leeds. We've got five minutes. Okay, that's a bad ball. This game does not want us to win this, uh, this game, but we don't care. We do not care. Diallo, Diallo, continue your run, please. Ward Prowse in to Coutinho. Coutinho shot in off the crossbar and that barely went in and Coutinho has scored the winner against Leeds. I can't believe that actually went in. That was in for like half a second. Oh, that was an absolute just prayer of a shot. We find Coutinho and it's a good shot. It's in off the crossbar into the net barely and then bounces out. That's got to be so close to not being a goal. That's got to be like inches. And Casillas almost, Casillas almost saved it too. I got to see it. We just brought Coutinho on. And I think he just won us the game. We got to see it. Because we don't get a replay from the game. Uh, yep, there it is. That is barely a goal. It's as, as close as you can get to being not a goal. Our number 10 doing the business. And this should be a very big three points. It seemed like the world was against us. Okay, we just got to defend. I'm not going to say anything too soon. We got three minutes. They got a chance here. They 1,000% have a chance. So we just got to defend this. I'm not letting it happen. No way. We're not letting this happen. Rafinha. Okay, please give me Digne. What are they doing with it? Okay. I'll take it though. I don't know what Rafinha just did with the ball. They did not do anything with it. But that is a 2-1 win for Aston Villa. That could be a top four win right there at the end of the season if it's very close we will look look back on this win and say this is the win that got us top four and that puts us back in third place a whopping five points above man united in fifth we got some room here even if we drop points we got some room here i mean i don't know for season three if we should make the sliders harder just to like i mean how do we make them harder drop this down to like what four three two one i don't know i mean we'll see it's just i can't believe we're fighting with top four i can't believe it so watford next and then uh then bursi and gladback this is at home do i trust the sim result here because we do have a way at burnley that's always a tricky one i think we got to sim watford i think we sim watford and i would just play loftus cheek in the midfield because he hasn't played in a bit and let's start timber timber do we start Liam Delat, maybe? That's maybe too risky. No, we're not going to. So, Villa v Watford at home is going to be... It's going to be a 1-0 win. Dinye, 46th minute. Man, top four is looking like a real possibility right now. So, we jump up to third. Still a five-point lead over United. We're a nine points above six, though. So, it looks like our only competition for top four is May United. With four games left, it would take something catastrophic for us to finish below fifth, which is absolutely insane. But okay, our focus turns to the Europa League semifinals against Borussia Mochen Gladbach. The problem is, this Burnley game is like in two days. I don't know whether to prioritize the Europa League or the Prem. 
I think I got to do the Prem, to be honest. So we might play a bit rotated here against uh, this team. They got Deli Alley and James Madison in the midfield. Elvedi still there. The Ketsa Led up top, who always does so good against me in career mode. He actually looks decent. We, we got to rotate, though. So let's do Hoover, do Justin. Let's do Travers and Goal, because we did say we'd give him the Europa League. Um, we, Let's leave... Let's do Chambers and Mings. Do Timber. Let's do Ward Prowse. I'll leave Coutinho in there, but we'll do White House and then put Timothy Weya up top as a striker. And we will go with that. I think we'll take Bailey off for Diallo. Probably like at halfime. So this will be go with against Bursting Motion Club back. Their team looks actually pretty good. I honestly think they're probably stronger than the other two teams in the semis. So this is kind of like the final right here, I feel like. Our biggest competition, I would say. Philip just scored one of the best goals of this career mode in terms of that winning those points. That guy scares me, though. Whenever we face Dikete Led, he always scores against me. All right. Europa League semis. Villa. Borussia Mönchengladbach. This is going to be good. Had to leave Coutinho in there and had, had... What was that? What was that? Pass error is on seven. And they just did that. Okay. Okay. No, I meant that to be... I actually... I fat fingered. I fat fingered the buttons. That's why I did that. Pass error is on seven, and they're still doing stuff like that. So this is stuff I don't get. Okay, that's not good. I gotta say, Chambers did not play great against Leeds, so that makes me all Travers. Travers is an absolute god. For a backup keeper, he is so good. What 76 rated keeper on these sliders is making a save like that? We love Travers in this team. He's the future goalkeeper. Whenever we let go of Martinez, Travers is the starter. I don't care. That's gonna go to. Okay, they look actually very dangerous. They look dangerous. Oh, please, someone close him down. Oh, I closed down him. And then that left room for this guy to score. And Bruce Emotion Gladback have scored the first goal in the game. Oh, that was terrible defending. There was like so much hesitation on who to bring over to mark him. And look at the room. The room just opened. I gave the room up. All on me. That's actually not my CPU defenders. So, 1 0 in the 11th minute. Not a great start. Lord Prowse to White House. White House has had a. Had a very, very struggling type of season. Still only 19. We're still training. He's finishing up. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going through it. We're sticking with him, though. We're not losing faith in him. Timber to Coutinho. Timothy Wea. You got the pace? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Coutinho, actually. There's a lot of room for Coutinho. Just a little bit too far left, though. Man, if we get top four, Bailey's staying. Bailey is staying if we get top four, which is absolutely crazy. I really had no thought that we'd keep Bailey in season three. But there's a real chance. Oh, they're about to score. They're about to score again. It's the same guy. It's just, maybe this guy's a beast. Okay, we need to focus up. We're down 2-0. We need, we need to focus up. Thankfully, away goals are not a thing. Otherwise, we would be already out maybe. All right, let's just get one. Get one and then go from there. Okay, we're like misplaying balls right now. That was supposed to go to Timothy Wea. Obviously, he did not reach him. James Warden Prowse to Timothy Wea. Get it to Bailey. Back to Wea. Way uh oh White House, White House. He's gonna put it a little wide. That was the only shot we can get from that angle. And uh on his left foot, it's a finesse shot, not his best, and the angle wasn't quite there. Coutinho with a lot of room is way onside. I don't know if he was. Coutinho stays with it though. James Ward Prowse. There is one. Okay. We're on the board, and that's one. This is two one. James Ward Prowse is having a pretty good couple episodes. The last few. This is a pretty good hit. This is what we got him for. Just uh he hits the ball very clean. 41st minute, 2-1. All right, second half begins, 2-1. We're back in this. Just tie this up, make it 2-2. And it's a brand new game. That's all we got to do. Dino, Timothy. Okay, we're not we're not having some good link-up play from uh, front three right now. The Malinovsky guy is a guy I need to be afraid of. He's the one on a hat-trick right now. But the Ketzalet is, is one of the bigger threats. And this is not looking good. And Hoover. Hoover is so good. And that is a great steal. Dino to James Ward Prowse. There's room here. There's a lot of room here. White House, White House, flip it up to Timothy Wea. Wea chests it down. And the finish, I was aiming for the corner. It was right at the keeper, though. That is very disappointing. That was worked well. It was a good pass from White House. Oh, why is there so much room here? They should have shot there. They're gonna score anyways. Why is there so much room right there in the midfield, like in the defense? We just felt so wide open. I guess Chambers is out of position, but. I guess that's that's it. I don't know if I brought him. I probably did. Oh, this is 3-1. Okay, we need to score one more in this game at least. We can't we can't go into the second leg two goals down. Defense is looking very, very shaky. I think for the second leg, there's some time, so we, we will be able to play our full first team. So the defense in this uh chambers chambers and mings. What did, what just happened to Coutinho? Chambers and Mings are not really doing the job. Yeah, I can't risk conceding more goals right now. So we're gonna do we're gonna do McGinn 
at CDM and Timber into the back line with Minx. I don't think Chambers had a good game at all. They have a free kick in a decent spot. And Travers does make the save. I mean, the way, uh, oh, they're just not linking well right now. The front three are just, every time I pass to him, the, the pass is misplaced. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Wea. Two White House. White House. Oh, they're just defending it well. White House, good dribbling, though. Good dribbling. How do we not get that to Wea? Okay, White House is coming off, like, probably next. Bro, this is not, this is not going well. They've had the ball for the last, like, 15 minutes. Sorry, the 83rd minute. I just didn't get this ball out so I can make subs, and the ball's not going out. Oh, they, if they score another, this could be over. If they score another, it could be over. And James Madison has scored, and it's 4-1. Super Issy Emotion Gladback. Wow, we have, we have the best defense in the Prem, but this game right here has been horrendous. I mean, we could just maybe try and salvage one goal here, and maybe just have a two-goal deficit going into the second leg, maybe? That's all we can hope for. Coutinho, White House, give it to Coutinho. Liam, Liam, two, into Diallo. Okay. That's a lot better than 4-1. Ahmed Diallo scores, and that's so much better than 4-1. 4-2 is how this game is going to end. That is full time. That's a big goal from Diallo. That could save us, really. So 4-2, it's still bad, but it's not as bad as it could have been. Okay, so now we may have to make the decision. Do we play Burnley or play the second leg in this episode. So if we did in the second episode, we have Bruce Mortgage, Gladback, Arsenal, and then Wolves. I think we probably sim Wolves and then play Leicester. So we probably play Arsenal, play Leicester, and play Bruce Mortgage, Gladback. Oh, I think this Burnley game is, is a banana skin right here. So I want top four. We rested most of the first team for this game and it's away. So I think we got to play it. I don't feel comfortable enough to sim this. So if we win this, we'll go back to 65 points, back into third. Yeah, so this, this game's huge. If we lose it, then Man United are only two points below us. And we face Arsenal, who always give us problems. And Leicester, also a very decent team to finish. And Wolves, we have a, we have a tough month coming up. So three points here are absolutely vital. I think we are just playing the uh, the regular lineup. They got a De La Feo up top. He's definitely a threat in this game. We uh, we got to take Suarez off, though, at a, at a good time, in the, like maybe at halftime. Because he has the lowest stamina, and we're going to need him for that second leg against uh, Bracey Much and Gladback. So this would be a huge, huge win to have a five-point lead in top four with three games left. It would give us room in case we drop points against Arsenal. It would give us room. So this really needs to be a win. It's not the end of the world if we drop points, but uh, it's just going to make that last month so much harder. Burnley are known in FIFA worldwide to give so many problems, though, so... That's another reason why I didn't feel comfortable simming this. Dino, good ball to Suarez. Timothy Wea should be in here. Does he have the pace? Who is... Okay, there we go. There's the pace. Timothy Wea. I need a good finish. That's as simple as you like for goal number one. Could not be more simple than that. Suarez with the assist. Timothy Wea with the goal. Yeah, we feel we feel much better in this game. I think it's just uh, the first... Okay, as soon as I say that, I get the ball up. At least the defense feels stronger as of now. I think Kanza is just such a big reason why our defense is so good. So when he's not playing, it's uh, our defense looks a lot worse. Okay, I just completely just ran past Cornet there. We're not going to concede again after I just I compliment the defense, right? No, we're not, thankfully. Douglas Luiz to Bailey. Suarez gives it to Bailey. The same chance, but on this side, it's reversed to Bailey. Bailey. Bailey cuts inside. It's a good shot. But is that Pope and goal? I think it's Pope. Makes a good save. Suarez, Timothy Weah. Get it back to Suarez. Suarez, look at the dribbling from the 60. Not 60. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say the 36-year-old. Bailey, good shot, though. Coutinho, where are you at? I want a Coutinho special. I'm ordering right now a Coutinho special. I'm ordering it. I'm ordering it. Okay, never mind. It's not there. It's it's out of stock. Ramsey to Timothy Way. Uh, get that to Coutinho. I want that to go to Coutinho, not Suarez. But okay, they were right, they were right next to each other. I'll let that one slide. All right, second half begins. 1-0 up. I feel like we should maybe be... We should have one more goal. So... I would like to just make this a little bit more comfortable and get that second goal. Preferably quick in the second half so I can take off Suarez because we still need to do that. I'm leaving him on just for a little bit more. Coutinho to Ramsey. That was not a good uh, run by Ramsey, I don't think. That's a good ball to Coutinho. Okay, I need runners. Suarez is in a good spot, but Coutinho might go all the way. No, he won't. Ramsey, that goes to Timothy Weah. Timothy Weah, finish shot. There's the second goal. Timothy Weah has two in this game. Timothy Weah has had such a solid season. All right, Suarez. 
Okay, take off your boots. You're coming off. It's a good little finesse shot from Timothy Way. He scores in lots of different ways. All right, let's give Delap a run out. And honestly, let's take Coutinho off for Ward or for Loftus Cheek as well. We might as well do Bailey for Diallo. We might as well do all three main players. So they're all nice and fully fresh for that uh, second leg. And I mean, Diallo scored in the last. What kind of pass is that? Diallo scored in the last game, so. We might trigger that by clause in this episode, so this might be his last chance. He was gonna be offside there though. Oh, Delap steals it. Delap, Delap steals it. Liam, Liam. Oh, he hasn't scored in so long. We, I can't, I don't think we've scored with him this season. A little bit uh, troubling. Diallo, Diallo. Get the contract out. Get the contract out for Diallo. Get it out. Where do I sign? Diallo is a beast. He is actually a beast. Get the contract out. Look at this finish. This this finish is amazing. That's perfect. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna get such a nasty deal on him. 6.7 million for him. That is absolutely we do, we are gonna rob Man United. Should be illegal what we're about to do with Diallo. Okay, clean sheet would be nice. Clean sheet would be very nice. What is that ball? Oh, that's off the off the post. It's actually a good ball. Diallo is like a mini Bailey. He's just that good. He's like the next Bailey in this team. He's left footed, right winger. He feels way better than his actual overall. Loft his cheek. How do we not get that to Ramsey? How? I'm sick. I mean, thankfully a fourth doesn't really matter, but how do we not get that to Ramsey? That's a good ball. That's a that's an effort from Goodmanson. Douglas Louise through to Diallo. Diallo is gonna have that. The defender just like shouldered him though. Good ball to Delap. Timothy Weah is on a hat trick and that ball should have reached him. We might score a fourth here at some point, but not yet. Looks very likely though. It also looks likely that they're going to score. And Martinez is just making decent save after decent save. Loft his cheek through to Ahmed. Ahmed, if you finish this, I am so signing you right after this game. Get it out. Get the contract out. Get it out. You're signed up, Diallo. Welcome to Aston Villa permanently. How old is he? 19? He's so good in this game. We didn't use him at all in the United crew mode. And it almost feels uh, like we should have. Clean sheet gang, clean sheet gang, clean sheet gang remains. So much for Burnley being a threat. They have been, they've been trash in this game. Of course, right when I say that, Mings gets a good challenge in though. Gonna go back out to Ambuemo. How do you say that? Matty Cash is just a little bit too good though. 4 nil. honestly, top four is looking so good right now. Just so good. That was a very, very big win to end the month. And I think it's about time we get the contract out. I mean, Diallo's got five games played and three goals. For 6.7 million, this is what I call highway robbery right now. Wants a four-year deal, wants to be here long-term, and he probably wants a little bit of a wage increase. Let's do, let's do 75. Actually, he's going from United to Villa. He should accept the same wage, to be honest. Let's do that. I'm fine with paying that, and Diallo accepts. Welcome to Villa permanently. Man United, you just got robbed. And Diallo says, hi, boss. I want to say I'm really happy things have been sorted out between the clubs. You know, I've been happy playing here. Just hope we can go on and win things together now. He wants to be here just makes it even sweeter but okay this is where we're gonna end this episode so semi-finals next episode is gonna be huge it's gonna be apt it's gonna have to be one of the best comebacks of all time maybe to uh to beat them but in the prem we're sitting in third place three games left five points above united our only challenger for top four but we do we do finish with arsenal wolves and leicester that's three tough games but we're kind of flying right now so i do have confidence now that i can say we have confidence that i think Top four is looking like a real possibility. We gotta close it out in the next episode though. So the next one will be the season two finale and it's it's going to be a good one. So drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this episode. It was a very, very good one. Sub to the channel down below if you are not. We're chasing 50,000 subs. And also once again, if you've not seen episode one of our Spider-Man Miles Morales playthrough on the second channel, go watch it. It was so good. The link for that will be the first line in the description. Episode two, I think is coming out either Wednesday or Thursday. So. Be on the lookout for that. I appreciate all the support you guys showing this series still all the way in season two. I appreciate it so much. And it's going to be a very, very exciting end to this season. But that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a great day.